In this life, it seems like hope is a moving target, right? Our hopes change as we change. And then there are seasons in our life when our hopes are fulfilled. Then there are seasons when they're dashed. And as we're grieving their loss, even more hope can spring forth. And then sometimes even those hopes are dashed too. And so much of what we hope for is left to the will of other people, right? With so much left to chance or in others' choices, why do we continue to hope at all? I believe it's because God put hope in our hearts to draw us closer to Him and to remind us to embrace a hope that's eternal, not shallow, short-term, or circumstantial. Listen to what it says in Hebrews 6.18. So God has given us both His promise and His oath. These two things are unchangeable because it's impossible for God to lie. Therefore, we who have fled to Him for refuge can have great confidence as we hold to the hope that lies before us. True hope based on God is stabilizing, not blown away by winds of change or steered off course by earthly desires. Because when all of those are gone, when all of those deteriorate, God's anchor still holds. Perfect, consistent, reliable. This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our soul. We can trust in this hope because it came by way of the one who defeated death and became a high priest based on the power of an endless life. What do you put your hope in? Thanks for watching. You can find out more. It's Jody Stevens on YouTube and on Facebook or GenuineLifeBlog.com.